bags are packed Are you ready to go? This time tomorrow we'll be on the road Riding with you in the sunnier days I wouldn't want it any other Verte, we hope you enjoyed that special recap. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us here. Uh, this Mer Mercury must be in retrograde because we're all having internet issues. <laughs> so it might, I also, I am on very little sleep. I'm rehearsing a play in Washington, D.C. We're doing Angels in America. If you live in the area, come and see it. Um, but I'm very tired and a little loopy, so this might be a silly episode. We'll see. Um, yeah, but without further ado, Adam, let's hear about our sponsor. This is how all the greatest D and D sessions <laughs> have ever started. Absolutely. Um, so I'm I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. and ready to torture you. So. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> I'm right, underprepared so and mean. So we have our great sponsors first: Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Thank you so much for the support. You can grab an Electrum chest code on the overlay or bouncing around in chat. We also have Die Hard Dice, who has supplied our cast with. Let's see. Um, I did Neb last time, right? Yes, man, it's been so long ago. Yeah, so they have supplied our cast with Maeve's Mischievous Marbles. Oh, yes. Yes. I love it so much. Very I love it. Oh, very, that's very like an Etsy brand, I feel. That's like... it, it, it really is. It works yeah. really well. So thank you, Die Hard Dice. You can uh, snag 10% off your order at dieharddice.com with the code Erte. And I believe that we're giving away a gift card. So pay attention to the prompts and chat for that here tonight. And then uh, we are uh, also featuring Tailspire tonight. And Tailspire is this wonderfully realized 3D virtual tabletop that allows you to kind of have that feel of all this Dwarven Forge mm -hmm. that um, is sitting on my shelves somewhere, um, but but to get that digitally. And so it's a really fantastic application. Uh, you can uh, pick that up on Steam and uh, we thank them for their support. And you, we are also giving away Steam product keys for you to try out Tailspire here tonight. So pay attention to chat for those prompts. And finally, Tonight, you will hear the dulcet tones of Sirenscape because epic games need epic sound. I'm Adam Bradford, the CDO at Demiplane. You can find me on Twitter at BadEyeAdam. And tonight, I am playing Silas Jordan Sorrell, who is your dimensionally displaced magical superfan. <laughs> you get that right every week. Yeah, I'm impressed. I, 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 I practice in front of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Um, I'm Alicia Marie Body. I'm a, uh, you can find me on socials at Alicia Marie Body. <laughs> Since it's my fault that the the stream is running late, I will be oh. fast. I am, I'm a costumer, creative artist, and RPG performer. And tonight, with these lovely people in the under dark waters, I will be playing Bruce Armstrong, Attorney of Law. Hi, I am Jen Kretschmer. Uh, you can find me on socials as at DreamWisp. I stream as DreamWisp Jen. Um, I uh, do lots of different things, and socials are the best way to find out about them. <laughs> Tonight, your official resume. I, I do yeah, lots. Yeah, it's of just it's easier. <laughs> It's like it's either a three hundred page book or, or one <laughs> sentence. Mm -hmm. This is this is what I'm going with. I stand by it. Um, um, and tonight I am playing your friendly neighborhood troublemaker, Maeve Morgan Flynn. I love how she just slides into it. It's like <laughs> Jen is talking and then like every word of the sentence becomes Maeve Morgan Flynn. It's wonderful. Yes. 
this is why I don't have an accent because <laughs> I'm nowhere near as good as, as Jen. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content manager over at Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. You can find me on the socials as Obo Lauren. You can find me uh, here in the beautiful Elder Eye Studios because I'm currently out of town, as you could probably see. But <laughs> thanks to Elder Eye Entertainment, I have a decent setup. So thanks to them. And also because of them, I get to be Neb tonight, who's a shark. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. Um, and tonight I am playing your favorite granny for hire, Miss Robin Beckett. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, I'm Deborah Ann Wool. I am your storyteller for this evening. Um, I, I'm currently a theatrical actor, but I have also Yay. done film and TV, and you can see my stuff all over and lots of D&D. Um, so here we go. Um, so yes, so last time on uh, Children of Verite, as you may have heard, uh, we ended in a very <laughs> three-way cliffhanger here. Um, so if my uh, players will oblige me, Alicia, Miss Feruza, um, we're going to sort of, we'll come back to your very unique solo experience happening here in a little bit. So I apologize if we don't hear from you for a, a little bit at the beginning here while we sort out these other crazy kids. Um, so we have uh, Neb as a shark and Silas. You are in the darkness um, with a green glowing light beneath you uh, as a huge great white shark reminiscent of Bruce from the movie Jaws has begun to swim rapidly, jaws open in your direction. Meanwhile, Robin and Maeve, you have been sneaking your way through the uh, sunken, the ruin of the sunken ship. Uh, you have discovered alternate ways to breathe, which is fantastic. And I'm even going to offer Robin, you were, you know, you were thinking about these new powers that you have. And as you've been exploring, just something was kind of calling you towards this drive shaft pipe. Um, and as you look down, you see a faint glow around this mirror shard. It's about 45 feet down at the other end um, of this, you know, tunnel, this shaft uh, away from you. Um, and it's been kind of lodged into the side of the pipe along with a lot of other debris. So we're going to do a couple of things here. Let's start real quick with Robin and Maeve. I'd like you both to start by giving me perception checks. 17. 13. A 13. So Robin, as you and Maeve are looking down the shaft, uh, Maeve, your eye is just trained on that mirror shard. It's exactly what you all have been looking for. You have no trouble breathing. Robin, out of the corner of your eye, you see a pink ribbon beginning to wrap itself around Maeve's leg. I'd like to roll initiative, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, 15. 15 for Robin. Dirty 20. Dirty <laughs> 20 for Maeve. All right. Unfortunately, Maeve, you do not see this. And Robin, you do not beat the initiative of this pink ribbon. Uh, so the pink ribbon begins to wrap itself around Maeve's foot. Sorry, which one are you? That's you. Uh, ba -da. Ugh. Rolling here. Oh, that's okay. That's not so bad. Um, sorry, I don't know where I put this information. I apologize. Where did it go? All right, I have it over here. Okay. Great. Uh, plus six. That is a 17 to hit, Maeve. That will hit. That will hit. Okay. Um, bum, bum. Sorry, guys. Ooh. 12 bludgeoning damage as this uh, ribbon wraps itself around your leg and begins to squeeze. Um, uh, may I, as a reaction, cast uh, my lenticular galactic duplicate? <laughs> you may, <laughs> as a reaction. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, all of a sudden, as soon as this thing starts yes. to impact, almost like there is a second Maeve in front of her. Mm -hmm. um, sort of, if, if you've ever seen those clear masks, 
that have the faces painted on them. Yes. It's really kind of, almost a little unsettling, but this is um, like it's composed of stars. A um, little less unsettling, but still weird to see a second Maeve face <laughs> and body uh, sort of encasing her um, comes out and protects against that impact. Right. Uh, okay, fantastic. So you, you don't take that hit. So I will not take that damage. Fantastic. And I have um, a, a short-term boost to my armor class. Fantastic. Plus five. Okay. Hey, Robin, you're up. So you see this thing attempt to grab at Maeve's ankle, but as it like closes down, it's almost as though it like is replaced by this masking thing, and it just grips onto nothing water as it pulls back into the darkness. Where did it come from? Through the back doors, the same sort of blasted open area that you all swam through. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Robin's gonna... I see the shard, though, yes? You see the shard. It's 45 feet down this tube. Now, the, the, the tunnel is about 12 feet... 12 feet? <laughs> 12 inches in diameter. So it's a narrow shaft. To get to the shard? So there's no way for us to get in there. I mean, you can try to squeeze. It depends, you know, who wants to attempt that or you have to find some other way to get at it. What if? <laughs> <laughs> I love I love when Hope makes that face. I love it so much. You know something so good is about to happen. <laughs> Anytime she says, what if? What if? <laughs> okay, let me just say, uh, how Actually, it's, it's what it? if? <laughs> the intonation of it. <clears throat> Robin, if you allow it, Robin is going to cast Reduce on herself. <gasps> I shall. Why would I not allow that? I don't know. <laughs> it does make me half my size. I don't know if I if that is enough. Absolutely. I th I would call it enough. It's still going to be tight, but okay. I'm sure you could do it. All right. So All you just right. see Robin just think real hard and then just kind of compactly grow and you see a, a little robin oh my goodness <laughs> and uh sh i'll use my movement to start going down towards oh it oh my god so <laughs> <laughs> this is adorable little robin just shrinks down in front of you mave turns towards this hole in the side in the bottom of a ship and like puts her arms forward and she, you know kicks for it. Now, Robin, even at this small size, I mean, you are still just fitting the size of this tube. So you're gonna have to sort of hold onto the sides and wriggle as you, sorry, I'm it's moving because it's on my lap, and <laughs> wriggle as you push your way down. So we're gonna, it's, it'll be considered sort of a difficult terrain squeeze. Okay. So about 15 feet on a turn. So you okay. make it a third of the way Perfect. towards that shard. Got it. Um, Oh, Maeve. wait. Oh, go ahead. No, that'd be two spells. Okay, nothing. Okay, no worries. Um, Maeve, since you cast this reaction as you felt this thing begin to attack you, you are now aware of it. Let's go through a round with this thing. So you are top of round here. Um, Robin has disappeared <laughs> into this hole. Um, you saw this pink ribbon tentacle retract into the darkness beyond there. What would you like to do? All right, I'm going to swim towards where I saw tiny, tininess <laughs> go. <laughs> um, but also knowing that things are scary and, and having Little Mermaid top of mind <laughs> because <laughs> of what happened, I'm sort of thinking about what I might do to defend myself. Mm -hmm. And as I think about this, in my hand, my letter opener uh, suddenly just sort of the stars that protected me now have sort of transferred over there, but it grows into a trident that sort of matches King Triton's trident from The Little Mermaid. And now I have a trident in hand. You have a trident in hand. Amazing. As I uh, swim towards, uh, towards where Miss Robin went. Okay, so you probably can't fit inside this tube unless I'm you want to try. I'm trying to defend her. You're just going to defend it. So you now settle back down that, uh... in front of this <laughs> terrifying... <laughs> Darkness. Not, not. I think I don't even notice that I'm holding a trident <laughs> in my hands now because you I are, didn't have a weapon with me. 
You are alone so, in a dark, creaky ship underwater. Total silence other than the scrape of your friend as she wriggles her way through a tiny tube behind you. When suddenly out of the dark, a whole host of these tentacles rocket towards you. Okay, that is a 19, a 24, a 9, and a 13. <laughs> so 19, 24, 9, and 13. 13. The first two will hit. Okay. All um, right. However. Yes. On, uh, at the first, as soon as the first one, uh, lands, I will just, with, with all of my being, I have the don't touch me creep thing <laughs> in my heart, and I will, uh, I will use don't touch me creep don't touch me um, which is oh actually uh yeah so i point my finger at it and uh it will be surrounded by that sort of burning starlight right um it needs to make a deck save okay that is a 14. okay so it will uh it needs it a glow. So it will take uh, five points of fire damage. Okay. As that that taser like uh, instinct from the subways in New York uh, <laughs> kicks in. So these these pink tendrils shoot out of the darkness towards you, one latching onto one arm, the other onto another leg. You can feel them searing in. You're going to take 15 bludgeoning damage as it squeezes down on your limbs, holding on. And I need a con saving throw from you. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, 19. A 19, okay. Um, as it sears in, as you watch, a creature begins to almost like it's rolling, it's, or, you know, uh, coiling itself in towards you, it comes out of the darkness. It looks very much like the jellied fish Gwendolyn creature you met before, but this one is pink, uh, you know, flesh, much, quite translucent. Um, you notice, where is he? There he is. Um, do. But he has kind of a, a bob side to side as his eyes fix on you, bloodshot red. You can feel the murder behind them. At that same moment, off on the side next to him, you see Gwendolyn appear, also bobbing. She also throws out her tentacles. No! I'm sorry, I didn't know. That is a 22, a 15, oh, no. and an 8, and a 5. She's going to die. 22 and First 15. two will hit. All right. Oh. Ooh, 20. Oh my god. I am out. Okay. Oh. As her tentacles grab on, one, two, you slowly lose consciousness. You have the bubble on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the bubble. <laughs> I'm sorry I left you. Oh you slowly lose consciousness, and the last thing you see is as they begin to pull, wrapping their tentacles around you into a, a, an embrace. <laughs> um, we will come back to the two of you. Totally fine. Totally fine. <laughs> Okay. I was gonna feel so guilty. Oh, <laughs> oh no! I thought you could handle it. Neb and Silas. Oh no! Um, both of you are please gonna make perception checks as well. Okay. And then we'll roll your. Uh, Sixteen. Silas. Uh, Twelve. All right, Neb. As this thing darts forward, because you all have sort of chosen to stand your ground, um, you get the very strong feeling that this is not to pretend. 
Uh, you can feel the weight of it pushing in the water. You can smell the blood within its gums. You, you just get the sense that this is a very, very real creature that is coming towards you. Uh, and so now, yes, and coming with murderous intent. Yes, Feroc cause... Fero ferocious and fast. Okay. Um, roll initiative, please, both of you. Because at that moment, Nev was like, I wonder if it'll be friends with me. <laughs> oh, no, wait. No, it's not going to be friends with me. Oh, what is my initiative as a shark? True of the ground and this thing. <laughs> oh, Eight. Silas. Eight for Silas. A uh, 12 Neb. for me. A 12 for Neb. Unfortunately, neither of you beat it. <sighs> it's that moment. I wonder if it'll be friends with me. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Here we go. Oh, that is a natural 20. What? <gasps> Against me, right? Um. No, I think it likes the human. I, um, I, I, I am as a reaction yes. going to, um, I, I am going to, well, why do you, and I'm just trying to make my voice heard. I'm yes. assuming sharks can hear. And, yes. um, and Ooh. I'm uh, just going to say, uh, why don't you uh, eat something <laughs> a little more tasty down there? You see the green light and uh, silver <laughs> barbs. <laughs> and with the silvery barbs, that is going to, it has to re-roll. Has to re-roll, okay. Yes. <sighs> Not a natural 20. Oh, that is a good re-roll. I mean, uh, for you. Um, yeah, that's an 11. Okay, that so, does. Go ahead. That does not hit, and then I yes. am going to choose Neb uh, to have advantage on her next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw within the next minute. Okay. Fantastic. So as it swims towards you, and it need not understand, only hear Here. what this thing is. You, you know, make some sort of motion that distracts it just enough to kind of look down towards this green, so that you can move out of the way, and it slides. It, I mean. Still, you feel the sandpaper skin as it, you know, makes a, a, a cut in your wetsuit as it slides past you. And again, it takes 10 seconds to make its way past. It is so long. You see it go past and turn and begin to make its way back again. Neb. Is it? Neb, I think it might be real, actually. <laughs> Maybe I, I could only detect thoughts because octopuses are really smart. Oh, this is so bad. Um, has it moved far enough away that I would need to move away from Silas to attack it? Um, it's like 10 feet away. Yeah, 10, 15 feet away. Now I'm going to stay next to Silas, and I am going to hold my action, because uh, Neb doesn't want to leave his side, mm -hmm. um, because there's a good chance we need, may need to run from this thing. She's not sure yet. At this point, all she's figured out is, no, this thing isn't. <laughs> but Silas, all you hear is the gnashing of teeth. But, <laughs> but she's saying, no, this thing isn't friendly, which is disappointing. I was really hoping to make another shark friend. Uh, and she is going to stay put next to him. And if that thing comes in for another chomp, I'm going to take a chomp at it. Fantastic. All right, Silas. I am... If sharks I, could growl, you would see me in the water. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, uh, Silas is going to say, but don't stop moving, Neb. I know what you're doing, but don't stop moving because I think you can't breathe if you don't. And <laughs> um, and he's like, uh, you know, just say, saying this right now. Uh, and uh, I have no idea if she can actually hear it or not in the water. Um, but, um, but with this, Silas is going to, um, I'm just going to simply say, um, uh, or I'm, I'm going to use a, a signal here. Um, I'm trying to get my hand uh, sideways where shark eye can see it. Yeah. And I, I'm just making a signal like, you know, GTFO. Um, <laughs> and then I am going to uh, try to use my movement to start swimming away uh, from, uh, fr from this thing. But I am going to hold my action. Okay. Um, I, I am only swimming up to about 10 feet away from Neb. And I am holding my action for when the shark charges at either Neb or me with okay. its next um, act. All right. And then I am going to use uh, use an action, an ability at that point. In time. Okay, got it. 
All right, we'll do one more round of this. It goes, uh, you, the, the shark makes its turn, and you see it begin to charge with a bite towards both of you. I believe you both have an action held for an attempted bite, yes? Yes. Yes. All right. This, neb, neb, feel free. Yes. So this one does seem to now be directed at you, Neb. Um, you are a little bit closer to it. So it comes forward, opens its jaws. Why don't you start, Neb? So the quick question I have is because of where it is and where it's come, uh, is Silas still considered next to it? No. Okay. Well, then it's so, a good thing. So, so, so quick, quick question. And I don't know how we can do this. So um, when you hear what I am trying to do here, it is going to become very clear that I would want to do whatever I am doing before it actually gets close enough to Neb for her to like be engaged in melee with it. Okay, great. Um, it, it, is that a possibility yes. before? Yes. And, and Neb, I don't want to step on your toes here, but no, Lauren is perfectly fine with this. I'm I'm okay. happy to like roll insight for Neb to see if she could figure out that Silas is wanting to jump well, the gun. No, I but think, I think you know Neb. You sort of said I'm going to ready for a bite. And Silas, you said I, yes. I'm readying for a charge. So we'll say your action is red is you know triggered before because you see the tail flick that pushes it. So just before it gets in melee range of Neb, go ahead, Silas. Okay. So as this is happening, again, Silas floats back just about uh, ten feet. Yes. He looks. He looks at his air and sees that it's just slightly under ten at this point. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, if you could hear him, you would hear who shoots. He's school wars. And you see <laughs> Silas just act like he's dribbling for a moment. And then he steps back, fade away, and follows through. And as he does, you see this magical, illusory ball just going through the water like it, it it's not water. But then <laughs> in front of Neb, you see a, um, a real net that is up to, you know, five, five feet by, by five feet up here in front of, uh, in front of the shark. And I'm trying to time that just immediately before it gets to nip. That's amazing. Okay. Um, so right in front of you, Neb, boom, this like <laughs> volleyball net <laughs> appears in front of you, um, as this shark is, you know, coming in that direction. Um, all right. It. Let me see how surprised it is by this thing. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good though. <laughs> 21 is higher than your general spellcasting modifier, Silas. Uh, yes. Okay, so it sees it appear and is able to just kind of like slide, you know, slide off to the side and avoid actually getting entangled in it in some way um but it does absolutely stop it and divert it how large is this net Could you say um that? it is a medium sized um item okay. and so i was trying to look up exactly what that meant and the best that i can tell is they're saying that if it it, it takes up either one or two squares yeah, so I'll i'm say assuming 10, somewhere... 10 by 10 feels yeah. fine to me yeah. so yeah so it it stops and turns it does not bite neb and has to kind of go off around on the side and you effectively will uh hold off this particular um attack um all right neb uh it's I'm not a held action anymore but it because it, it didn't try to bite but it uh it's your turn and since it's moved far enough away and I see that Silas has made the GTFO sign, which is basically he's moved, I will swim towards him. And Silas, you watch as I stop next to you and lean over so that that dorsal fin is like right in front of you. Grab it. Awesome. Okay. Whenever I'm able to do so. Um. So I have a swim speed of 40 feet and I would love to take Silas with me. Okay. <laughs> Zoom. And this is a, you going to dash it or are you just going? Your yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe if he, he, if we're going, then we're going, let's go back in the direction of the boat. As far as you know, as far as I know, I would like you to make a perception check, please. Okay. Now this, I will have advantage because it's my next roll after yes, the, go ahead. the thing. Absolutely. So let's see what happens. 
16. Oh. 16. All right. You are able to, you know, with your sharky hearing and everything that you've got going on, your echolocation and everything that's happening. You the actually, boat smells this way. Okay, here we go. I'll even offer, you may smell a little bit of Maeve's blood on the current uh, <laughs> in the distance. And Why does it smell like that, um, that drink what, we had last whiskey? night? <laughs> Iron and whiskey. Uh, Steel and whiskey, thank you very much. Steel and whiskey, I'm sorry. And take off uh, in that direction, 80 feet. As you go, you know, Silas, perhaps you stand an eye back, you see that this shark turns and starts to try to follow. Um, It keeps pretty good pace behind you. Does it look like it's gaining? It does look like it will gain on you in the next round. Got it. Okay. Back to Robin. Uh, um, You uh, are only facing forward. You can't see behind you. Um, You, I mean, she's got a a bubble thing on. Uh, We we can we can do a perception check to see how aware you are. What happened to me? Go ahead. Roll it. It is a dirty 20. It is a dirty 20. All right. You heard some sort of, you know, you know, struggle. Um, And again, maybe even you smell a little something in the water. Um, And you do, you get a strong sense that something happened to Maeve. But 30 feet in front of you, you can see the shine of your pen light, you know, your pin light off of that mirror shard. Well, knowing that I literally can't turn around in this tiny space, I need to just try to get out and turn around and come back. So um, Robin is going to kind of sh- shape herself with her, her, her arms, <laughs> nice and aerodynamic. And she's going to start flipping, flippering, like with her flippers okay. like, as fast as possible, casting Expeditious Retreat. Okay. So I'm going to cast that and then dash and use my movement. So that'll get me... Uh, 30 all the way feet, there. All the way there. Okay. Um, but that'll be my action and my movement, my bonus. So I don't think I can do anything else. Okay. Interact so you... with object. There is one. <laughs> yeah. Does, does that? Yeah. I, if I, I will, make it too. I will allow it, but we're. I'll, I'll let you know what you see. So okay. You get a free, again, this mirror shard. It's lodged inside oh, of the metal, um, and you can see it's been there a long time. See creatures and barnacles have grown up around it. It looks pretty secure. However, you can also see that 15 feet beyond is the propeller and an exit 15 feet ahead of you. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I mean, uh, um, maybe I'm going to, I'll think about it. Okay. (laughs) I have nothing else to do this turn. Um, Uh, Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. We're just going to jump over to Maver. Yeah. Maeve, you find yourself coming in and out of consciousness, and the only thing that you really grasp is a very comforting pulse of green light. Oh, as you lose, rave I went to. <laughs> as you lose consciousness uh, once again, right. in huh. and out, you feel very safe and warm. Um, but yeah, very just just vague shapes as you come in and out of consciousness. Not a completely unfamiliar feeling. No. For me. Let's just <laughs> be real. Okay. Um, so for Maeve, uh, you like Feruza. We will kind of hold your little uh, story here for a little bit later. Um, we're going to jump back to Neb and Silas. Um, Sil- uh, Neb, you are swimming as fast as you can, pulling Silas along with you as you hold <laughs> on. And you can see the shark behind you starting to gain. I'm going to continue to move and dash. Okay. Because I think... If I stop to turn to face this thing again, we're kind of in the same position we were. Mm-hmm. Whereas if I can get us to the boat, I can potentially get us to some more of our friends. Mm-hmm. And I trust that Silas can shoot behind us. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got Silas riding shotgun and I'm 80 feet as fast as I can towards okay. that boat. Fantastic. Um, another 80 feet. Now it's, it's, it's basically kind of within sight, um, for, for you with your underwater abilities here. You can sense that it is right there about 30 feet in front. Uh, give me a perception check, Neb. Okay. 
I just keep rolling tens, 16. Tens. <laughs> I'm very consistent. <laughs> consistent today. Um, you get the sense of a large cluster of other creatures moving away from the boat on the other side. Do I get a sense of what kind of creatures? Because I know it was possible that some of my friends stayed here. Yes. But... Um, it would not be unreasonable uh, to assume that it, they are medium-sized creatures. I don't, again, I don't entirely sure what you get with your sharky senses there. Uh, um, blind sight and that, and just regular dark vision from yeah, okay, from being yeah. Me. I mean, you, you, you know, you met you met that jellyfish. It feels like a large cluster of those creatures, and perhaps a human. Yeah, I'll 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 angle in that direction. I I cuz I don't know exactly where everybody is and now if right. I've felt at least something that is friend shaped, either they found more friend <laughs> shapes or they found more enemy shapes. Either way, <laughs> either way, we we got to you know, maybe I'll bring an enemy to new friends. Maybe I'm bringing an enemy to more enemies. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we got to get back together. So yeah, I will head in friend-shaped directions. Okay. <laughs> um, so friend-shaped directions. Uh, I mean, you will on your next turn, but this was because this yeah. is the end of your movement. But um, yes, you are aware of something. Sorry, I had to get a power cord. Things are crazy tonight. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. How are you? All good. Silas. Um, how, how close is it to us at this point? Probably 30 feet. Yeah, oh, I feel okay. it on my tail. Oh, jeez. It. It's right so, there. Uh, so Silas, um, you know, make sure that, you know, he's like hooking himself on with, you know, one arm the best that he can and trying to get as stable as possible while looking behind him. Um, and then uh, if you could hear uh, him talk, he is just going to say... Hand me down the shark repellent bat spray. Um, and you see that uh, he like kind of reaches somewhere and pulls out a big black canister with some red letters on the side. And then he squeezes the trigger and a bolt goes out. And okay. We'll see if it hits the creature. Ooh, that was nice. That was a uh, 19 on the Absolutely. Eye, so. Um, um, so that... You you will not be able to see this creature, so you might have disadvantage. Oh, okay. I can't see the creature at all. A, a, not in this pitch black darkness, because you don't have a dark vision, right? Um, no, I don't have a dark vision. I do have my lights you on. Your light like... it goes about ten feet. Okay, this is outside that's fine. of that, so you are at disadvantage. Right. I'm sorry. All good. Um, well, I rolled a twenty that time. So all right, we'll, so you we'll, hit. We'll go with the nineteen. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> and then that's um, some brilliant rolling. Thank yes. you, Silas's dice. Unfortunate that it was, uh, you know, didn't count there. Um, so that's going to do <laughs> um, eight force damage. Okay. And as a bonus action, um, I am, let me just verify one thing on this bonus action. Um, so again, we've established that Neb in her current form can hear me. Yes. Okay. I, I'm going, uh, I'm hear going to. Hear and understand you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Excellent. And so I am just going to simply um, say, um, yeah, keep going M faster, faster, faster would be better. <laughs> and, um, you know, bub bubbles going everywhere and uh, bardic inspiration. One thing to keep in mind with this, though, um, is depending on how you use the bardic inspiration die, which is D6, um, if you use it on an ability check, uh, you can re-roll the die and choose the higher. So it's like an advantage. If you use it on an attack roll, uh, you can do additional thunder damage. Or if you use it on a saving throw, you get temporary hit points. Nice. So I okay. uh, just wanted to, to call that out whenever you use that die. Somewhere in the back of Neb's head, she's like, I really have to turn into a T-Rex for Silas. <laughs> All right. So yes, so Silas, as you pull out this shark repellent and a bolt goes flying off into the darkness, um, Neb, you sense even more uh, than Silas does, but Silas will say, you know, you do hear some sort of an impact <laughs> off in the distance there in the darkness um, as this shark takes the, the hit um, of your shark repellent. 
Um, it is, however, its turn. It continues to come forward, catching up with you handily. Silas, you holding on to the fin, your feet are the first thing it sees. Plus 15 to hit. Um, I'm going to use a reaction. Ooh. And as, as it comes in. You really don't want to be eaten. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, no. Um, <laughs> if, uh, as it as it comes in and tries to to bite, uh, yes. it's like uh, Silas just uh, kind of says uh, he's like moving his feet as fast as he can in the water. He's yes. like no, 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 and then eventually, like just uh, his mind kind of projects a, a shield of force in the water, and it's almost like you see the water go around it for a moment uh, in front of it. And uh, armor class for uh, this round is going to be nineteen. All right, so no hit. All right. Um, as, as it dashes forward and goes to take a bite, something about, you know, your legs are just a little too dodgy or a little too rough. It can't bite through your wetsuit. You feel the pressure as it tries and pull your legs, um, avoiding the bite. All right, back to Robin. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> How launched are we talking about? <laughs> it's going to take an action. It'll take a strength check. Okay. Unless you have something fancy nope. you want to do. I don't have anything fancy. Okay. Robin's going to use use the action to try to pull it. Go ahead. Uh, so you said strength check. Strength oh, check. Gosh. Uh... <laughs> so it's not a natural one, but it is a one. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. It's you, 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 um, you pull on it a little bit. I, I'm going to say, um, give me a, uh, off of this, an investigation check. That's a 10. Okay. Um, you think you might have an easier time with it. If you could find some way to jimmy it or, get some leverage, some tool would really help. Dang it. That's what I was going to do. Bring okay. this down. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, <laughs> just, okay. I'm offering that to you for free. That's not good news. You still but have I... a bonus and a movement if you want it. Oh, bugger. Um, okay. I, I, Robin knows something is wrong, so Robin, Robin's not going to waste any more time. She'll come back for it. Uh, she's okay. going to turn use her movement to get i guess 15 feet back into the tunnel right so no so you are so you are 15 feet from your your 45 feet from where you entered and 15 feet from the propeller from the back of the ship so you could leave the ship if you went 15 feet forward outside and leave Maeve? no again <laughs> again <gasps> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Hope. <laughs> no, it's not it's not even an option. All right. Okay. <laughs> so you would be you would be sque squeezing backwards basically, back in yeah. the direction of Maeve. Yes. All right. Um uh going to use my movement to get as far as I can up mm -hmm. that tunnel and then you'll see Robin poof, into like bubbles and appears 30 feet ahead. Amazing. So I don't know so how far you, that gets me. It gets you your 45 feet. Oh, so yes! you, you wriggle yourself going backwards for 15 feet, watching that piece of shard get smaller in your light oh. as you back away from it. Bubble, 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 as you appear in an empty chamber. Dang it. <laughs> Maeve is nowhere to be seen. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, that's it. Okay. Neb and Silas, Neb, you're up first. Uh, I think in this moment, there's a weird shark instinct that takes over because she could feel the gnashing of teeth right against her side. <laughs> yes. And it's like, no, I'm the one who does the gnashing of teeth. And she's going to turn and attack this thing. Um, and now I'm assuming Silas is right next to it with me, right? Oh yeah, I mean it's Silas is with you holding on. The shark is literally nipping at your heels. Perfect, because the shark has pack tactics. That's right. So So does mine, <laughs> except mine has no allies. <laughs> okay, that's a I guess oh no, mine seven... doesn't. Mine's a lone loner. Se <laughs> well, 17 to hit. 
17 to hit will hit. Awesome. Uh, that's what what do my what do my jaws do? Uh not much. Four piercing damage. Four As piercing. I nom down if it had gone after Silas's legs, I think I'm going after one of its side fins. Um in both an attempt to be like, no, poof, but also <laughs> to maybe slow it down because yeah. one of its fins are gone. And I just, okay. um, so yeah, you know, twisting your body the way that sharks can do, you, you kind of reach back around and ch chomp down, trying to get towards a fin as best you can, taking away a little piece of, of sharky flesh in your mouth as you do <laughs> chewing down as it, as it goes. Silas, and then, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Nebenes. Well, yeah. Because that was just my action. Do I still feel friend shapes nearby? Yep, getting fainter, getting farther away. I'm going to chance the attack of opportunity. I'm going to move towards the friend shapes. 40 All feet. Right. 40 feet. Here it comes with your op attack. Mm hmm. Ooh. 17. That hits. Nineteen, I believe. There's yes. a lot of shark blood in the water. Piercing damage. There's a lot of shark in the water. Shark blood, but I am still a shark. All right. As you are, you are you Silas? Are you still holding on? I yes. Okay. I wouldn't move if you weren't holding on. I'll, okay. I'll great. make that clear. Great. Gotcha. <laughs> I would so, not let go, whether I'm still holding on or not. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so um, as this thing bites down, it is harsh. You feel the teeth enter into your sharky flesh and open up again as it's about to chomp down for a second. You move as fast as you can away, pulling Silas with you. You get your 30 feet, right? Or, uh, sorry, 40, 40 feet. Yeah. 40 feet. This takes you up over the top of the ship and gets you just around over to the side. This brings what was just leaving your blind sight radius now more within it. Um, and again, you sense this clump of creatures as well as a humanoid about 30 feet away um, or a little, little less now maybe because you're closer. So maybe more like 20. Um, okay. Anything I... for Silas? Go ahead. I do have 60 feet of dark vision. Do I You 60 see... feet of dark vision. Yeah, my, my blind sense is from my shark. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And that's only 30 feet, so. I see. And then, but your dark, no, this is this is pitch black. There is no, like, Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I wasn't I mean, sure if I could even get anything, but okay. That's fine, that's fine. I'm still going after friend shape things. With your, with your neb, your, you mean your neb dark vision? Yeah. I don't, does that does that function when you're a shark? Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay, I well then I sh things. well then I should give you that. I should give you that. Um, yes, off in the distance, you see um, a clump of about six or seven of these jellyfish creatures, and nestled deep within their tentacles is Neb. Is sorry, is Neb is Maeve. I mean, in a moment is going to be Neb because she's still heading <laughs> towards. At least now she knows what the friend shaped creature is. Okay. And, and in the back of her head, she'll be like, oh, I really hope that's Gwendolyn. Here we go. Um, all right. So Silas, you don't see this or, or know this, but you, you know, you can still maybe sense this. The shark is still coming after you. It's 40 feet away, but uh, what would you like to do? Okay. <laughs> I... I'm bringing all of our problems together. It's going to be great, you are. everybody. You are. So I don't have to see it. It just has to be able to hear me. Within, okay. But it is magically hearing me within 60 feet. Gotcha. Um, and so, um, again, if, if you could hear what was going on, Silas is just <laughs> whispering, um, you didn't even get that close, but... I could tell that your breath was atrocious. And this whisper becomes a cacophony in the ears of the shark and it yes. needs to make a wisdom saving throw. My very wise shark here. 14? Yeah, it made it. Um, okay. So it's gonna, gonna take uh, half damage. Four. 
four, four, six is 14. So seven points of psychic damage. Seven points of psychic damage. And no damage. other uh, effect. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know what the, 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 it hears its mother's, <laughs> its mother's gnashing or something. <laughs> um, uh, and, and is, and is psychically traumatized. As, as the bonus action, yes. I'm going to, um, move, uh, some telekinetic force. Okay. So I, I want to just, um, ask this, I'm going to put this, I, I can make this telekinetic force do anything that a person um, ordinarily could do. Sweep a floor, um, you know, like right. any, anything like that. So I'm wanting this force, which, you know, takes up, uh, you know, kind of a, a five foot cube. I am wanting it to uh, casually do one of the Fortnite dances. And no one can see this, but displaced <laughs> water, you might you might see a little bit of this. And this is literally just in the off chance that a shark heading straight toward us might uh, might run into this force to try to slow it down. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, fantastic. I love that in the blind sense, Neb is just really confused about what's going on behind her, but she... there's a whole, there's a whole dancing thing happening. Um, something appeared. You're not sure. Is, she make, is he making the shark dance? What is going on? Oh, it doesn't matter. Here we go. All right. Uh, Robin, empty room. Shard, 45 feet back down the tunnel. You are small. And muted. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, I was just crying. That's all. <laughs> I was just crying. Um, Robin would be looking for me. Nothing else matters. Okay. Um, I know that you said, I'm going to start heading back mm -hmm. the way we came, but I know you said there was also like a ladder that there went up. There is a ladder that goes up in that middle room. <sighs> um, is there any kind of roll I could make that might help me decide which direction to go? Yes. Give me, uh, give me an investigation. Will you roll that for me? I will roll it for you. It's a uh, plus one. No, investigation's plus three. You remember that there is a slash in the side of this ship. And you're fairly sure it was about halfway down, and it feels like you might be in the right kind of room for that. Um, now, where you saw it, it was, you know, pretty small, but you are I'm small. small. Okay, headed that way then. Okay. Um, as you make your way over to the side of the ship in this darkness, finally the light off of your suit lands on this slash on the side of the ship, and you can see that pretty easily you could squeeze right through there. Uh, yeah, if my movement allows it, I will slip through. Yeah. We'll give it to you. You've got your full 30 feet while you're out here. So yeah, um, sliding through this little uh, slash in the side of the ship, you find yourself outside. Um, as soon as you get out there, you can see the pin light, the pen light off of Silas about 20 feet above you as it's kind of moving around and, uh, and you maybe also sense a small shark uh, in the vicinity there. I have a bonus action. Oof, bubbles, 30 feet up. Bubbles. <laughs> Appearing next to you <laughs> is Robin. Um, little Robin. Little tiny Robin. <laughs> little miniature Thumbelina Robin um, appears next to you. Um, Wait, is that next to us? Yes. <laughs> did I grow as a shark or did she? What happened? Hi, Robin. I have so many questions. Robin's right. just going to be like, it's doing like the braids and being like. <laughs> um, as Neb, as you're watching, I'm going to check something here. Okay. Ooh. As you are watching, uh, you know, kind of turning your attention, uh, you know, towards the, the creatures in front of you. You sense them take a huge intake of water. You can feel it from all around and, it, you know, sort of eject it. And they are gone, taking Maeve with them. Well, we, are crap. Back, we are back to the shark's turn. Mm -hmm. Robin, suddenly from behind you, 
fly, you know, swimming as fast as it can over the top of the ship, you see a giant great white shark, something out of your nightmares, as it opens its mouth wide, reaching for Neb. Oh, for me. Okay. Yeah, we're just doing this through Robin's eyes because okay. it's fun. <laughs> she didn't yeah. know. That is a 19. Yep, silvery barbs. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, now I got two of them with me! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not Just today. Barbs everywhere. <laughs> this is All my right. friend Silvery, and this is my friend Barbs. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic, Robin. Uh, go ahead. Would I take a damage, or is it just. You take a reroll. A reroll. Barb and Shard go to the. <laughs> Barb, Barb, Barb and Shard. Barb yeah, and Shard. Barb, Barb and Shard. Uh, and Lauren, um, Neb will get the next. Uh, advantage. 16. That still hits. Still okay. hits. I'm so yeah. sorry. My, my shark has a better AC than me, but not by much. Ooh. Ooh. 25. <gasps> Alright, well, I'm I'm not a shark anymore. <laughs> so, that's a thing. Uh, how, so yeah. how badly damaged a neb are you? Um... You said uh, 25? 25. Uh, is this three, 23? I'm pretty badly damaged, but okay, I'm... But you're kicking. I'm not... Uh, Silas, you're still holding onto my arm. <laughs> as I'm like, ah! ah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of blood. Um, but I yeah. am still conscious. You see this... I mean, again, Silas and Robin, you watch as this thing just mouth wide open, chomps down on top of this shark pulling its head back as it shakes back and forth, ripping the shark in two. The piece that's in front turns into tiny little Neb in her wetsuit. Neb, I, well, oh wait, no, Robin, it is now your turn. Oh, because we have are, melded initiatives. We have melded initiatives <laughs> based on this, uh, this system here. Those guys are gone. So I'm so sorry, Maeve and Feruza. <laughs> we will... No, we it's will fine. discover your fate. It's fine. It, it means we're still alive in our own heads. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> we you're shall good. discover your fate. I just think them not knowing for now is going to be good. Um, all right, uh, ne uh, Robin. It's still right there. Do I have anything on my person that... Uh, I have my air tank, right? You do, do I have anything else that but you know what no it has to be my air tank i'm sorry guys robin is going to take off her air tank she's going to catapult it at this shark and it smile, is smile you son of a bee yeah <laughs> yeah it's gonna explode okay so you so. want to throw your air tank at it yes okay fantastic are you aiming for a mouth are you you're trying to get it in somewhere Gosh. where he can pierce it yeah right to his face gotcha all right um, let's do a, a ranged attack, okay. um, for a head, like for a, an aim of that kind of magnitude, I'm going to increase its AC a little bit. It's almost like it has cover. Okay. But go ahead. And what am I, what am I adding? Just a, a well, I, you can choose between dex or strength. You are oh. melee, but I'm going to let you choose if, if it's more of a throw or it's a shove, whatever you think. Well, it's a 19 on the die. It's a 19 on the die? Yes. We're going to reenact Jaws right here, right now. I'm here for it. As as Neb's sort of, sort of badly injured body with blood streaming into the water and Silas, you're holding on to her. Robin, you pull the tank from your back and shove it into this creature's mouth. Anything else? Uh, it's going to take damage if, if it hits. If so it if hits. I'm, I, we'll, get, we'll get to it on its turn. Oh, okay. You have set it up for if it bites down on this thing. Okay. We'll go from there. Sounds good? Okay. Okay. Anything else, Robin? Yeah, that, that's it. I'm just going to stay in front of Neb. Gotcha. Neb. Oh, things just got real bad. Um, so I'm really hurt but we got to take care of this shark and i'm gonna watch as robin catapults this thing into its mouth and something about the way it's been nomming down on me i'm like <laughs> that's not fair 
<laughs> Ow, this is not <laughs> playing fair. Um, and it's like I make a connection with this shark and I'm gonna pull something out of it. I needed to make a constitution saving throw. Yeah, pull something out of it? Like yeah, a rib this cage is, or... I'm, a, little, a little bit of its of its health is going to come That's with. a pretty good I thought she was about to roll, say though. its soul. I know. That is, a 20, that is a 23 con saving throw. Okay, it does save, but it's still going to take half damage. Hmm. Um, so I rolled 11, so it's going to take five necrotic damage. Okay. But more importantly... Um, yeah, I I just grab that and I'm like, this was mine, and I'm gonna get a little bit of health back as it's gonna okay. allow me to uh, roll one unspent hit dice and regain a number of hit points equal to that plus my spellcasting ability modifier. As I I'm gonna transfer some health. Fantastic. Go That's... ahead. <laughs> yeah. Please do. Um, Neb heals herself up a little bit as you literally are staring into the dark, lifeless, you know, dead eyes, Bill's eyes uh, of this creature um, in front of you. All right. Anything else? Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I, I get 12 health back. Nice. I get a lot more health. Yeah. It, it withers a little bit and I just feel a little Ooh. bit better. Yeah. Um, is there anything else I can do? I just saw Robin got get rid of her air. I know that Silas is low on air, so I'm not gonna turn into something else until I know that I can hand off my air tank. So that's it. Okay, Silas. So to get this straight, there's like an air tank that is floating in front of the creature. No, it's in its mouth. Robin successfully lodged it in this creature's mouth. Like, is full it up, biting? Full up Chief Brody style. Yeah. Is it biting down on it? Not, it's not its turn, so okay. <laughs> it would. Uh, you know, if it decides to take a bite, it would. So, is it sticking out of its mouth at all? Sure, you can see it. Okay, um, let, let me ask it this way. Is it sticking out of its mouth to a point where it can see it. Like, uh, can, can its eye catch? I would say probably no. I, I do have those... to note, I have to note, yes. my tank is probably small because I'm small. Your tank, that's right. <laughs> that is true. So you have it's... a tiny tank. <laughs> would, it, would it get big again once it leaves you? <laughs> Does it like hit and then go? <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> it's a tiny, I don't know. These are the real questions. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love um, this game. Oh boy. Um, I I don't think that the shark can can physically see. Is there? The if I was up there, mm -hmm. um, closer, mm -hmm. could I shove it down its throat further? You are closer. You are. You. Okay. You, all three of you are within five feet of this Ooh. this monster. Yeah. Well, that so sounds wanna... like a terrible place to be, too. Yeah. It does sound like a terrible place to be. Um, okay, so I am going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start swimming away from it a little bit. Okay. Uh, and, you know, uh, now is that, am I, so I am in within five feet of it at the moment. You so are. this would be opportunity attack. Would um, if you were to move away. Mm. No, I'm not going to do that because I want to hit it. Um, so um, I am going to. Uh, yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to move away from it. Um, okay. Opportunity attack is okay. fine. Uh, you're probably fine. 13. Yes, I am OK. It misses. And, and I'm going Although to. Although it tried to bite you. That's what I was hoping, actually. <laughs> this is both amazing and horrifying, and I'm okay. here for all of it. Okay, it 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 as it as it tries to go and bite you, and you watch, you see it just its teeth just graze the side of it, missing the tank, but it is close. Okay. Um. If 
some kind of damage was done to the tank, would it have the same effect? Does Silas feel like that's true? Yes, you feel like that's okay. true. Okay. Um, as Silas is moving ways, it takes its bite, and he sees that that doesn't work. He's waving his hands and trying to get uh, big, where hopefully before this happens, the shark can at least drift away from them where it doesn't uh, you know, explode on them, possibly. Um, he knows that that's probably a little futile, though. Um, and so I am going to... Um, at this point, you see, um, you know, from his pocket, just kind of telekinetically lift up out uh, briefly, a ring light up, <laughs> and then you see a green arcing light fall down above the the shark, um, you know, trying trying to hit the shark right, uh, you know, in, in the tank there. You're trying, you're trying to hit the tank. Yes, trying to hit okay. the tank. And the main thing here is that uh, this attack is not impacted by cover of any sort okay fantastic and, uh it, it would have to make a dexterity saving throw the object i the assume object doesn't make a dexterity saving and throw. it's an object it's going to do um it's going to deal let's see uh eight radiant damage all right radiant damage I don't know. Like, what is radiant? God, God is smiling. Radi radiation? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Light. Silas doesn't have a song for uh, you know, radiant something. Or holy, well, he can't sing holy. it underwater. Maybe it's 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 like the power of Thor. You know, <gasps> yeah. Like a Green Lantern is is the you God know, blast. Is, yeah, yeah. The God blast. Um, coming. So again, Neb. So here you are in the dark. All I imagine is just just like absolute chaos and terror underwater in the dark as the two little pen lights variantly light up each other as well as this giant great white shark um suddenly a green light erupts as as silas backs up almost getting chomped himself uh and and this light floats up in front and this green arc goes through both, you know, uh, uh, Robin and Neb, you just see it come past your faces, you know, as you turn and watch as it reaches down towards the tank in this creature's mouth. It hits a moment of silence <laughs> as it bursts. So I would like dexterity saving throws <laughs> from Robin and Neb, please. That's fair, that's fair. Okay. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I actually rolled well, Bung. I'm gonna throw the um, uh, the bardic inspiration. the bardic inspiration. So this is a saving you also, throw. You also have advantage ah, if you want to use that. It. Uh, well, wait. With the silvery barbs, I have to use it. Yeah. Because it's the next roll. So let me. I'll, I'll just roll that and see what happens. Uh oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, so that was uh, yeah. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put the bardic on top of that. Uh, so that's a 17? And you will get seven, uh, no, sorry, five temporary hit points as well. Okay. 17 for Neb and Robin. Seven. Seven for Aww. Robin. And Robin. Bring it on. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do this die. No boy. Okay. Extra big die. All right, five points of piercing damage on Robin as little shards of shark tooth and air tank fly out as it blasts the head of this creature oh apart. Um, you are just splattered, taking five piercing damage off of the shrapnel. Neb, you're able to just sort of maneuver your body, remembering some of your sharky moves from before, able to avoid the blast. As everything starts to settle, the blood in the water, as the giant body of this creature begins to sink beneath you. At that moment, Robin, you notice that Silas's air tank reads seven. Yeah, minutes. I mean, si Silas at this point, he's pointing at it and he's doing like seven this minutes. stuff and looking like like making a choking symbol. He's doing all kinds of things what because he, he can't like remember the real symbol. And and you would see Neb is starting to grab her own tank. Okay. I I can't I can't do anything. I mean, we're not an initiative, so this is just 
I know. I have what are questions. what the three of you, what are your what choices would you like to make? I I I see this panic. I pull off my air tank and I start to hold it out to Silas. Okay. So Silas, holding your own breath, Neb. Holding my own breath, and as soon as he takes it, uh, I will do something. Okay. I, 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 I take it. Okay, you take it. And then I will uh be a shark. Do 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 be a shark. Okay. Because I can wild shape one more time. Neb is back to a shark. Silas, you have her tank. Um, it's it's her regulator. So essentially, you're just now you've got your own on your back. You're holding on to hers using the regulator off of her tank. Yeah, and Silas definitely is not keeping up with the old stuff. Like he just like let says, it go. Just lets, right. it, lets it go. It and falls then, down into the darkness along with bits of shark. And then uh, Silas is just going to message uh, first uh, Robin and and in turn repeat mm-hmm. the same thing uh, to to Neb and say, uh, "Do we have any idea where Feruza or Maeve are? And did you find the shard?" I found the shard. Do, do you have it? It was stuck, and then Maeve disappeared, and I had to go look for her. I, but I know where it is. Do we do we know where they actually are, or should we make sure we get the shard while whatever threat is not there is not there? You watch as Neb will turn in the water and. Uh, even though she's not a pointer dog, will point in the direction she last saw the creatures and her friend-shaped object. Um, but if a shark can look sad, a shark looks sad. Oh my gosh. This is so stressful. <laughs> yeah. Shark eyebrows how, go down. How are you breathing, are... Miss Robin? I don't know. <laughs> The fact that she's 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 not breathing, right? Or are yeah. you just holding, holding? Holding. Breath. She's just holding her breath. She has held her breath for an extraordinary amount of time through some extraordinary experiences here. So, uh, yeah. I, I'm just trying to say that if it was me that was missing, and you knew where the shard was, I would want you to get the shard and then maybe come looking for me. Because I don't know if that time is going to make a difference <laughs> or not. I just want to be clear about that if that situation ever comes. But I'm also okay if both of you want to go there, and then we have to come back and try to clear this place out again and try to get the shark. I am useless at this point. I feel drained. I don't know how much more help I can be. Maybe I can go get the shard. I know where it is. You go find Maeve and Fergusa. So we're going to split up again. You watch a shark goes, no. <laughs> fine, fine. Her whole body waves back and forth. I don't think, I don't think Robin saw Maeve. So she doesn't know. She doesn't no. know that. Okay. And I, I was neb too short of a time to tell anybody, but I did, I did try to point mm-hmm. when you asked. Mm-hmm. So. What do you think? Silas? Listen, I'm just saying if it was me, I'd want you all to go get the shard. But I understand that that probably seems pretty cold and calloused, even though I think it's efficient. Um, and so... We don't even know where Maeve Freyruza is. I, I I know. Like, I, I have no idea. I don't know what Neb is, is trying to do right now. Like, maybe Neb has some kind of idea. but And this is all, like whispering in water. Yeah, you, just messagey, backy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I buy it. any of that to me? Or yes. Is that all yeah. through, okay. He's repeating. I, then at it's that, very chaotic. Then at that moment, Neb is going to swim 20, uh, 10 feet towards the area, towards the direction she last saw Maeve go, mm-hmm. and she's going to lassie shark. She's going to turn and look at you. All right, let's go. <laughs> I, I guess we can go and when we come back and the shard's gone, we can do a whole other quest to try to find the shard. Oh, sure. yes. And I'll come back around and I, I don't know if it'll work, but I'll let the both of them grab hold of o- me so offer that I Offer some fins? Yeah, if like I know it'll probably make me uh, slower, but it'll mean they're going to be mm-hmm. using less air tank. Gotcha. Robin is... 
Robin has she she's just gonna flip her. She's still okay. very fast. Yes. Okay. All right. As you all turn to start swimming out into the darkness. We're going to move to Feruza and Maeve. <gasps> oh. <laughs> We're like, oh, it's good. It's all good. It's all good. Feruza and Maeve. We're st- we'll start with Feruza. Maeve's, Maeve's coming in here in, in just a, a half a beat here. <laughs> Feruza, we left you with your hand gently grazing against the smooth side of a giant glowing green squid. As it did, you feel this incredible calm come over you. Your breathing is so slow and steady. You feel like you barely need any oxygen at all. As you touch it, you begin to lose consciousness yourself, graying out. You begin to have this feeling that whole conversations are happening as you sleep as you float unconscious. A moment later, you think you sense Maeve, see a little of her red hair, as Maeve, you too, experience this glowing, comforting feeling, almost as if you're dreaming. In this dream, you feel as though you see eons passing, uh, mountains growing and destroyed within seconds, whole history of the world. A moment later, you open your eyes, and ahead of you is the sea lab. As you float in the water, you see it in the, you know, slightly, you know, the lights that you left on underneath the hab. You float in the water. Um, okay, so first it is, her eyes are going to open. She's going to... And right away, she's just going to like start sort of thrashing a bit because she's confused. Mm-hmm. Then she's going to stop and look around like she sees the sea lab and she's going to look behind her. She doesn't see her friends anywhere. You see Maeve. But, oh, I do see Maeve. You do see Maeve. Maeve. Both you, both Feruza and Maeve, both of you are floating outside the sea lab. In the Am lab. I injured? Am I? You, you, have, you have some of the injuries. You are probably at one hit point. Because you 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 came to this unconscious, so you're probably at one hit point, but you're stable. Um, your bubble is still intact. Feruza, <laughs> you still have ten minutes. It's almost maybe you have eight minutes. It's like you've used yeah. barely any of your air. So Feruza's gonna look over at Maeve. Does Maeve notice her right there? Yeah, you guys are right there. Gesture to, she's gonna do this. <laughs> Um, she's going to, uh, Farooza is going to gesture to her. Like there's no air to, <laughs> oh, forget it. She's just going to go, like, go to the, go to the sea lab and start swimming toward it because she's going to notice, like, just time. There's nothing they can do. Yeah. And they, she knows they can talk once they get into the moon pool or whatever it is. So okay. she's going to swim to try to get up, swim right past me to try to get up into the moon pool so they can have a conversation. All right, we'll follow. Mm-hmm. Do right. we see anything else around us before we go? Read we perception. Ooh. 18. 18. The waters are still really churning. You don't feel like very much time has passed. Um, mm-hmm. That this, you know, despite these crazy dreams of like eons passing, it doesn't feel like. It, it, you yeah. know, the light has not changed. The currents feel very similar to where you were before. Um, you do, however, notice somehow more, uh, you know, flora has grown. Um, you know, underneath the hab, when you left, it was pretty barren. But now, uh, you know, sort of more coral and anemone. You know, things are just mm-hmm. growing underneath the sea lab, seemingly in the last you know, just short little while. Hmm. And I sort of tap for Rosa and I point to all of that. She's gonna like turn back and go like this to like what? <gasps> and she's gonna first she's gonna look around at what Maeve gestured at. And her eyes are just gonna like widen, like 
<laughs> and just to go yeah because like, we have to go we have to go talk about what the heck is happening where is everybody okay. we're right can we get go right yep. to the sea you can lab? go right to the sea lab as okay. you go down you start to see fish um give me nature checks both of you okay yeah it's my strong suit however yeah eight eight <laughs> Maeve. dirty 20. dirty yeah. 20. um they look tropical to you really like the wrong fish and even as you take a look at them now um they seem to be dying right that they, they're not suited at all for this environment um but here where they are very uncomfortably trying to exist in this in this weird space here Fruza just notices Maeve's like facials that she does <laughs> she's really <laughs> concerned because she knows Maeve makes faces for reasons so she just like she sometimes just, she's concerned yeah <laughs> Like, oh, 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 this isn't good. This isn't good. First of all, I appeared out of nowhere. Maeve appeared out of nowhere. We don't know where anybody is. And all of a sudden we're back into the sea lab and there's like a tiger clown fish in the middle of like <laughs> the deep ocean. We're, oh. okay, okay. You make your way to the moon pool. You're able to pull yourself in. It is just as you left it. Your friends are nowhere to be seen. Are our things there? Your things are there. You get your head above the water and are able to remove your regulator. Regulator out. And be able to breathe and, and speak. Maeve, do you have any idea what just, what happened at all? Anything? There was a, Gwendolyn was there and Gwendolyn's friend. Gwendolyn, and, Silas is Gwendolyn? Yes, and and friend? I don't know what I took, but okay. Maeve. I should probably be drinking some water. Is all I can think. All right. Um, let, let's get you something to drink. But I, because I, I, I want to find where, out if you can. Me? Where, yes, you. Where did you go? Oh, I, don't, I don't. You disappeared. What do I remember last? Mm-hmm. We swam out to the boat. Um, I noticed, I turned around, all of a sudden my regulator was low. And then I, this might sound strange, but I saw like a, a greenish glow. The greenish glow was comforting. I don't know how to, I know that you got the look on your face. You don't have things here that are right, that seem right or wrong, and the things that are wrong seem like entirely right. For some reason, I just, a green light glowing at the bottom of the ocean felt right. And even though I was running out of air, that's all I could think about was that green, comforting light, Maeve. And then I woke up here next to you, next to a sea of um, guppies. That's all I remember. Did we? Were we? I just, well, I'm so confused. <laughs> Did time pass or something? Cause why is there, why? Something looks different. It's, it, there's so much there, and the the creatures that are swimming around are not not what, what they should be. Whoa, 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 wait, just... wait, 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 wait! I know there was more creatures, but what do you mean creatures were not supposed the, to? Be? The 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 fish here are not Arctic fish. They're not the creatures that should be there. Did you see the colors? The fish there yeah. don't have those kinds of bright, vibrant colors. Those are warm water fish. Where are we, Maeve? Ooh. Are we in the same place? I mean, we know what it's like to plane shift and be in the wrong place, but look the same. So how do we know if we're in the right place? How do we know if we just plane shifted away from everybody else? What if we shifted the hop shifted with us? Because our things are still here, right? Your things are still here. All right, that, that's one good thing. 
All right. I, I, I don't even know how Gosh. to get in. Like, oh. Mm. But? But they're not back. And those things are different. Those things are different. Yeah. Um, let me, we can't like recharge these oxygen tanks or anything, right? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I guess going back out there is not going to happen. And neither one of us has one of those like thoughty thingies, reach out things that Silas has, right? Neither one of us. Neither, no. Not unless you have some magical brain powers that I've never... I don't think I have. I don't know if I have brain powers. You don't know? You've never tried it? To do what Silas does? I mean, I don't know. I haven't tried it. <laughs> I don't think it's a, a thing. As you're standing there, you start to feel your bodies shiver. The water was still cold, and this room, you know, is the least heated of the rest of the place. Um, you can just begin to feel the cold of the water and the amount of time that you've been there in this, you know, saturated air is really starting to shiver your bones. Yeah, let's maybe walk toward the, the next room, which was warmer. Yeah, let's, 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 uh, let's do that. Is just going to stand up and follow, um, follow Maven to the in other your, room. In your wetsuits and everything, or are you? Uh, I think I'll take this off. Yeah. I'm, uh, okay. And she's just going to start like, yep, can't get this off alone. I'm going to need your help. Can you just pull <laughs> it from the back, Maven? Just pull it from the back. I need to get out of this. All right. So you do your proper de-gearing. Yeah. You shower down, shower. make sure it's all good. Yeah. Um, and step into the warm area of the... And house. as the feeling starts to come back to my various extremities, yeah. I start to realize just how beat up I am. I mean, what? as I've taken off this wetsuit, I yeah. am covered yes. in in bruises from where the tentacles wrapped around my arms yep. and legs. And and Maeve is not, not super stable in the joint area to begin with. Mm. So... Probably, yeah, there's probably a lot of, like, cracking noises yeah. as I'm moving around. Walking is hurting. There's swelling, absolutely, you muscles. You notice I'm leaning on things as sore. I try and walk, kind of yes. very gingerly stepping. Yes. In fact, like, so Maeve, I'll weird. offer, mm -hmm. um, you notice leaning against a table is a cane. I will grab that cane. It gratefully. is exactly the right size, and you don't remember it being there before. How could you have missed it? Oh well. Hmm. Mm, that was me. <sighs> Maeve, I don't know what you remember, but you are covered in bruises and scrapes. So you're saying Silas's Gwendolyn was there, and she had a friend. What was the friend made of? It's the same thing that she's made of, but he Ribbons. was pink. Did she grab you? No. Well, the friend grabbed me, I think, and then Gwendolyn was there, and then there. It's hard to tell. There were so many tentacles, so many of them. So you didn't see a shard at all, did you? Nothing. Oh, we saw. We saw a shard. Oh, you did? We couldn't get to it, though. Well, I couldn't get to it, and Robin did, and then she made herself tiny, and then she left me. Robin made herself tiny and left you? <laughs> this doesn't seem like Robin at all. Are you sure it was Robin? Okay, all right. I mean, unless she switched for a twin, she but I didn't know twin. she had while we were down there. You know what? That's not completely out of the question. You have to consider I all mean, possibilities. I always wanted a twin, but <laughs> doesn't mean I have one. <laughs> Evil oh. twin showing up substituting for Robin. It's not completely out of the question. I mean, you've seen the way Robin's been drinking tea lately. What if we left the wrong Robin on the dock 
and we have some freak that can shrink herself into a tiny shape, but it's not really the Robin we know. I don't know. I may just be out there. I think and it would feeling... be just really nice if we could just find our Robin and our friends, because I don't love that we're here without them. This makes me really nervous, and the fact that we have no idea how to get in touch with them. You know, it worries what me else? also, mate. If they're coming back, they'll come back. And if they're not, we can't... We, they, we, there's no way we can go back out right we now. We can't! We can't! I can't go back out there right now. Why not? I just oh, hold up my <laughs> arms. <laughs> right, that's true. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm trying to think. I think it's the bends. I don't know what's happening to me. Okay. Um... Okay, so right now there's only two options. There's stay here and wait and hope that maybe Silas uses his little mind talky thingy and like CB radios us kind of somehow. Or we, we we can't really go back out there, can we? So we really only have one choice then, don't we? Oh gosh, I, we have to think. I, I, I don't think. know what your one choice thought is. Staying here. Drink, Drink whiskey. whiskey. Whiskey? Sounds like a plan, and I start going to my bag and <laughs> rifling through. <laughs> you rifle through, you find, I guess, is it still the the uh, the bottle that Silas brought you? And well, probably Maybe. whatever else I had whatever stashed in there. Whatever else you had stashed in there. <laughs> um, yeah, nice carrying begin... a bar. <laughs> <laughs> you begin to pull out these, uh, you know, these bottles from your bag. Um, they look good. In fact, you're you're pleasantly surprised by how full they are. You thought you maybe knocked back at least half of that bottle that Silas brought you, but it looks pretty good. <laughs> Three quarters of the way full still. Let's see. Let me grab. Fruz is gonna grab one and be like, "Woo!" <laughs> and Nate's gonna grab it this? and go. Mm. <laughs> All right, that'll uh, change your name. And, and basically just rinse off. You know, rinse off after we've rinsed the gear and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. It, really, barely standing up at this point. Like, yeah. This is this is when standing hurts. Yeah. Um. Just get it. like this is a sitting on the floor of the shower kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, getting out of it in the and cold then... water. <laughs> oh my gosh, this just a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking whiskey. The whiskey in would the be shower. the shower. You know what? You've heard of shower beer. Welcome yeah. to shower whiskey. Yeah, really. shower whiskey. Um, <laughs> only for deep sea adventures. Yes. On a grate and beneath you is salt water. And as you're sitting on this grate is the, the shower, cold shower water and you're shivering, looking down, taking sips out of this bottle. And you can see again these tropical fish moving very sluggishly below. And you can already see a few of them beginning to die and fall to the bottom of the water beneath you. wish we could find the shard, our friends, and just get out of here. Rest, get out of here. Fruz yes. is actually holding yes. your cane, Maeve. And she's sort of like just turning around her hand. This is nice. Where did where did you get this? It's just up against the shelf there. What do you mean it was just up against the shelf there? You mean it was actually just randomly coming? Wait, 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 wait. It was just standing here. You didn't bring it? Nobody brought it? Things no, I have the collapse It was there. Okay. All right. There's something very fishy going on here. In addition going... to the fish. <laughs> As you're standing there, you hear something from the other room, the observatory. What was that? What was what? A sound? The sound I heard? Did you hear the Sounds same sound? Sounds like talking. Voices. Maybe someone's in here. Should I call out to them? It's coming from the observation room. Suddenly, a peal of laughter. Is it a familiar laughter? Perception check. Eight. I am tired and in pain. Okay. Very tired. It's muffled by the closed airlock door. It's hard to tell. 
we're going to have to investigate. Um, Firza starts like, just like breathing, but she's containing herself. Like she's like, and you know that maybe that like you, you recognize that she's starting to get a little like angry. But she's going to just, just move. let's not smash anyone before we find out who's there first, just in case it's someone helpful. Someone, someone randomly helpful laughing in the observation deck, Maeve. Maybe they have a good sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> and look, right. the reality is if it's not. All right, you know what? You're right. And Bruce's eyes are going to stop. <laughs> they're going to just slow. They're going to go back flat again. Okay, let's we're going to we're going to approach it like we have visitors. Okay? Let's move toward the deck. And see okay. who's here. You move Ooh. towards the door, towards the observation yeah. room. There's a button above that you push to open the airlock. I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and kind of see if there's a shadow I can hide in. <laughs> Fantastic. Give us <laughs> self check. <laughs> Uh, 21. A 21. Um, back around by like the beds and the bunks, you can kind of slide your way underneath the bunks and get pretty well hidden under there with a 21. All right, Feruza, do you push the button? Feruza first goes up to push the button. She turns around to see where Babe goes. She's, Babe is gone. She's like, Maeve. Babe has disappeared. Maeve. Oh. Maeve? I'm here. Just <laughs> You want to not show all our cards yet? trying right. to help that's right that's right i'm just gonna push the button or should i knock and say knock first why don't you just push the button just push the button all right i think uh, we're overthinking this <clears throat> for this hand is gonna reach up and if this was like a movie you would see the close-up of her finger right toward like heading towards the button mave throws something from across the room <laughs> to try and hit it <laughs> what the <laughs> And the button is pushed. <laughs> you hear the air pressurize, you know, just the, the release of the airlock as the door swings open and sitting in the middle of the observatory are Robin, Neb, and Silas. They're laughing, having a great time, drinking tea as Robin looks up to you and goes, there you are. And with that, we will say that it's the end oh, of this chapter of Children of Air Day. Thank you all. It's a little early, but I could not resist that cliffhanger. I'm so sorry, everybody. That's the most fun I've ever had. Also, um, also, that was an amazing Robin impression. Kudos. That was <laughs> thank you very spot me. on. Spot on. <laughs> I can't thank wait to hear her Silas impression. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us with Children of Verte. I yeah. remember that life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale, and we will see you next week. Good night, everyone. Bye. <laughs>